Hey pressure washers, I'm just going to show you uh, how I do my soap and uh, the way I do it. I used to do it in the bucket style where you put the tube, hook it in, put it in the bucket, and pull it out of the bucket when you're done. But I've kind of rearranged it here and I want to show you how I did it. Um, I've come here. So right now if I need soap or not soap, I have a little shut off valve right here. Um, a quarter turn valve you just turn it and that gets you your so off soap and on soap and uh, so what I also did on this truck from my old truck is I ran piping up here to my soap detergent tank right here it's a hundred gallon soap detergent tank I did that it's for also for uh, roof cleaning and and house wash um, but I did a Y right here and in this Y you can see um, I did one for my soap tank and I did one for house um, wax so if a customer we do a deluxe package and if that deluxe package we put house wax on it and we get that from Russ Johnson from Southside Equipment um, you can buy a, the 55 gallon jug and it lasts you forever I think I'm going on two years now so and it's cheap and it's a great upsell it's a hundred dollar upsell and we do it quite a bit um, but uh, so um, way if you want to turn that on all you got to do is turn the soap off and turn the wax on and that turns your soap and wax off that also gives you me another issue that sometimes I have with these um, these quick couplings here from tractor supply they'll crack where that Sun beats on them they'll crack right in there right in there or they'll crack right here and when it does that you're out of soap no soap no house washing means you go home well by me doing it in a five gallon bucket all I got to do is just pick this up I got a tube here that goes in my wax bucket there and I just put it right in here and there in the uh, thing so if you have a no soap problem, you're not getting soap, then there are some things you need to check. One other thing you need to check too is sometimes there's a little ball up in this, there's a little ball up in here. Um, what I'll do is you can take a pick up in there and just push that ball up where that spring is where it gets that soap stays in there and it, it'll corrode it a little bit. So you just take a pick and shove it up in there and then it'll start right up so the things to check if you're getting no soap is one is it turned on here two is it turned on at the tank and then there's one other thing that can cause you not to get soap and um, on my J rod here I have I have four J rods here and uh, you can see the one all the way to the right this one here is a uh, is a 30 degree fan which will not cause you to soap because it's a little bit higher pressure and that'll cause it not to soap too um, last week we had about 300 feet of hose on it it was still soap and it was a little weak but you put the 350 on it it quit soaping so hey this is jason guyman with pressurewashcincinnati.com check us out um, subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos thanks and have an awesome day